What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next example. So here we have to find two values of m so that each of these trinomials here can be factored. So we did questions like this in the previous section as well. But in the previous section, we were dealing with a case where the a value was one. And notice that with these trinomials here, the a value is not going to be one, but the same process is going to apply. So in this particular video, we're going to be solving for M and notice that the M is going to be in the B values of these trinomials. And then in the next video, the M values will be either in the A or C. And actually that case is going to be a little tougher than this one when you're solving for the M value and it's in this middle term in the B value, quote unquote, then it's not too bad. So, the way that personally I go through these is I basically take the trinomial, right? These are all, most of them are going to be quadratics except for this one over here. Notice how it's going to be a multivariable trinomial, but the same process is going to apply. So with this particular quadratic over here, what I do is I just go through the process, the same process of factoring. So I go the a value is 3. What's the B value in this case? Well, notice that it's this positive M over here. Then the C value is 16. And then what's the next step? Well, we get the AC value, which is going to be 3 times 16, which is 48. So then we have to find two numbers that multiply to 48 and then add up to that B value. In this case, the B value is M. So it's not always going to be M. Notice here it's negative M. Here it's going to be positive M. Here it's going to be negative 2M. In this particular case, for this first quadratic we're working with, it's just positive M. And so really from here, fairly easy, all you got to do is find two numbers or two integers that multiply to positive 48. And so notice that there are tons of different cases. So perhaps 8 and 6, right? 8 times 6 is 48. So those two numbers come down here. And so notice an m value of 14 is an answer that works out. Now, if you want to check your answers, what you can do is you can actually take that value that you find. And then you can actually see if this factor. So for all the M values that I'm going to put here, I'm not going to factor each of these. You can do that yourself if you want, just to check the answers. It would be super time consuming. But if you get something like this on a test, what you can do is you could take that M value, plug it back into the expression you're working with, and then see if it actually factors. And then you can notice that this will factor smoothly, right? This decomposes into these two values. So 8x plus 6x plus 16. Notice from these two, we could take out an x. Notice that from these two, we could take out a what, 2? And then we could take out that 3x plus 8. And we're left with x plus 2. Okay, so if that m value is 14, then this trinomial is going to factor into those two brackets. But we don't have to factor, we just have to find values of m so that the trinomial can be factored. I'm just saying you could do this if you have extra time on a test, for example, to fully check your answer. Okay, so that is an m value that will work out, and there's just a ton of them. Another m value actually that would work out is notice that these are two are positive. Well, we can make them both negative as well, right? Because negative 8 times negative 6 would give us positive 48 as well. And so if we have that, an m value of negative 14 would work over here. Now, usually when they have like a positive here, a lot of times they'll just be expecting a positive value, like a positive b value versus here, they'll be expecting a negative one. But technically, the m value can also be negative, right? 3x squared minus 14x plus 16 would also factor. Now, what if we were to use different numbers? So instead of the 8 and 6, what are some other ways that 48 can be multiplied into? Uh, maybe 12 and 4? would work, right? So then 12 plus 4, an m value of 16 would work. 
over here. So that's another case. And then the negative SONEM value of negative 16 would work. So for in this particular case, basically you could have plus minus 14, plus minus 16. Um, what else would work? Maybe 24 and two, All right? 24 times two is 48. And then 24 plus two would give us 26, an M value of 26. So an M value of 26 also works. Right, so if this number is big enough and it can have a bunch of different factors, then the more factors this AC value has, the more possibilities there are. We only have to give two possibilities, but just showing you how many more there are. And so that's pretty much the, um, the process for all of these. So let's say, uh, let's go to the next one. We got two X squared minus mx plus nine. So in this case, a value is two, the b value is negative m, and then the c value is nine, the ac value would be two times nine, which would give us 18. So what two numbers multiply to 18 and then add up to negative m? And again, 18 has a bunch of factors, so maybe three and six would work. Right, three times six is 18. And then over here, you gotta do a little bit of algebra. You'll have three plus six, and that equals negative M, meaning that nine is equal to negative M. So if we wanna isolate for the M, we would divide both sides by negative one to get an M value of negative nine, right? And then an M value, you gotta be careful here, an M value of negative nine if you plug it in here, you'll have like 2x squared minus negative 9x plus 9. And that would turn into positive 9x plus 9. Like that, right? So this here can factor. Uh, so an m value of negative 9 works. Now, another thing that would work is if you got negative 3 and negative 6. So then you'd have negative 3 plus negative 6. So then you'll have negative m equaling negative nine, which means that the M value can also be positive nine, right? So if you have an M value of positive nine, you'd end up with two X squared minus nine X plus nine. So that is another possibility that works. And a lot of times these kinds of questions, they're maybe looking for a positive value for you to put in. So the whole B value ends up being negative. But if you plug in a negative value for m, it would turn into positive and that would still make the quadratic factorable. So that works as well. But again, if there's like a negative here, a lot of times they'll expect this entire value, this entire b value to be negative, meaning that you'd have to plug in a positive m value. Okay. But either or works. What else works? So let's try some more numbers. Actually two and nine work as well, right? So we'll have two times nine, two plus nine. So we'll have negative M is equal to 11. So meaning M can be negative 11. And then it could also be positive 11 plus or minus, right? Cause this could be two and nine or negative two, negative nine. So that also works. Also 18 and one works right? 18 times one, and then you'll have 18 plus one, which would give us 19. So negative M is equal to 19, uh, which would make M equal negative 19, but you can also make these negatives, right? So that would be another potential for M plus or minus 19, right? So all of these, if you plug them in for the M value, you'll get a quadratic that is factorable. Okay, moving on to the next one. Now this next one here, notice that it's not a quadratic, but we've dealt with these kinds of multivariable expressions where you can use decomposition to factor. So same process, A is six, the B value is M, the C value is negative seven. So the AC value would be negative 42. Okay, so now we gotta find two numbers that multiply to negative 42 and then add up to that 
B value, which in this particular case is just N. So two numbers that work would be, what, seven times negative six? That works. So then you'd end up with seven plus negative six, which would give you an M value of positive one. So that is a possibility, you could also switch these up. So you can have negative seven times positive six, which gives us negative 42 again, negative seven plus six would give us an M value of negative one. So that also works. Um, what other values can you use, right? 42 can be divided by a lot of things, maybe 21 and two, sorry, uh, one of them has to be negative. So negative 21 and two, then you'll have negative 21 plus two which would give us negative 19. That's another M value that would work. You could switch them up 21 times or uh, 21 times negative two, 21 plus negative two would give us positive 19, right? So if you take all these M values, plug it in here, you'll get a quadratic or rather not a quadratic. In this case, you'll get a trinomial that can be factored. And let's maybe do one more. Let's do three and 14. So we'll have a negative three times 14, negative three plus 14, which would give us 11. But we could also switch the sign, so that would also give us negative 11. All right, so those are a bunch of different possibilities. You take all those, plug them in here, you'd be able to factor that trinomial. Okay, and then finally, the, um, the last one over here, and let me maybe split these up just so we're not mixing up these M values. Uh, so over here, we have an A value of four. We have a B value, be careful here, of negative two M, right? The B value is this entire thing over here, and then the C value is negative five, like that. So then what's the AC value? It would be negative 20. So same process, two numbers that multiply to negative 20 and then add up to that B value, which in this case is negative 2M. So here we're gonna have to do a little bit more algebra because it's not just an M value that's over here. We have this negative 2M. So whatever value we get here, we're gonna have to solve negative 2M equals that value. So let's start here, two numbers that multiply to negative 20. Let's do maybe negative 10 and positive two. So what's negative 10 plus positive two? That would give us negative eight over here. So that means negative eight equals negative two M. Divide both sides by negative two because we're solving for the M by itself. So an M value of four would work over here. If we plug in four for M, we'd end up with four X squared minus eight X minus five which um, would be able to factor. Okay, we can also switch these. So instead of negative 10, we have positive 10 times negative two, which would give us positive eight equaling negative two M, which would solve to M equaling negative four, right? So M equals positive four or negative four. Both of those work. If we plug in negative four over here, we'd end up with positive eight X over here and then that quadratic would be able to factor. Okay, so 10 negative two works. Now, what other numbers work? Five and negative four. Okay, meaning that five uh, plus negative four would give us what, one? So when does one equal negative two M? That would happen when M is uh, negative one over two. Okay, so that's another M value that works right there. Again, we could switch the signs and then we'd end up getting a negative one over here and then we'd end up getting an M value of positive one over two. So that works as well. So plugging those in here, um, negative two times, let's say negative one half, that would give us positive X over here. Four X squared plus X minus five, that would factor if we plug in positive one half here negative two times one half gives us negative one. So we'd end up with four X squared minus X minus five. That would factor as well, right? So a bunch of different possibilities, especially if that AC value is a high enough number where there's gonna be a lot of factors. The more factors it has, the more possibilities there are for answers.
All right, so personally, this is the process that I take.